The other day I was browsing the internet as one does when you're stuck inside, and I came across this new instrument, the Aerophone Mini by Roland, and of course, I bought it right away. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why I think this thing is gonna be pretty interesting for a lot of people. Hey, J Metcalf here. If you like gear reviews like this one, be sure to drop me one of these right now and get yourself subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. The Aerophone Mini is what you call a wind synth. You blow in this end and it makes sounds that are all synthetic or digital. This is the first instrument I've seen that is actually designed to learn on and for beginners rather than for professional usage. It's as simple to use and to play as a toy would be, but it's built like a real instrument. It's small enough that a child can use it and so that you could take it with you anywhere. It can be used entirely independently since it's got a built-in speaker, a headphone jack, it works with batteries and connects via Bluetooth so that you can use it with other devices like smartphones and iPads. You can also connect a USB cable that allows you to use this as a MIDI controller. As always, I put a link in the description below so you can get more information about this instrument. Check this out. I'm gonna play this for you uh, with GarageBand on the iPad using sounds from GarageBand, but it's entirely wireless setup. I'm connecting using the Bluetooth feature. All right, what'd you think? Let me know your first impressions in the comments below and who you think would benefit from having one of these. I think this is a great choice for any adult who wants to learn the basics of playing a wind instrument, but doesn't want to have the problem with the noise uh, to bothering people around them. You plug in your headphones here and you can play away without anyone hearing what you're doing. It's also, look how small it is. You can also take it with you anywhere. I know people are always telling me, oh, I, I wanna practice in this strange place, uh, you know, but I can't bring my saxophone. This, you know, this is small. You could bring this anywhere. I think it's also a great option for kids. I've got a four-year-old at home, and when this arrived, I took it out and handed it to her, and she was able to play it immediately. The fingerings are basic like on a recorder, but the buttons are like so obvious. It's like almost like a video game controller the way the buttons are. It's just very clear where your fingers go and what you have to do. I think kids will like this instrument because it's simple yet fun to use and the fact that it works with lots of different apps, you know, makes endless possibilities for what you could do with this thing. I also think anyone who messes around with music production and wants a simple wind synth controller to use while making music will enjoy this. The key here is that it's simple enough to use that anyone can just get started right away. So let's talk about the fingering system, which is brilliant in its simplicity. You've got the main keys for your fingers, and then you've got a few extras for your pinky keys, and that's it. This here, these two little keys here, you press this one here, it makes all notes a sharp. You press this one here, it makes all notes a flat. Uh, other than that, the fingerings are very much like on a saxophone. Um, there is an octave key that works just like a saxophone octave key, but there's a second octave key, this one here, and that will lower all the notes by an octave. So you get a range of over three octaves for B flat, I'm using one and one, like you would on a flute or a clarinet. And for D sharp or E flat, we can't use a pinky on our right hand, so I use this pinky on the left hand. Other than that, you're gonna be familiar with the fingerings if you're already playing saxophone. The controls are very simple and intuitive. Again, you got this one button in the back that you press, and then you could change between the six different built-in sounds. So, that's a saxophone. Flute. 
That is a clarinet, <laughs> apparently. Trumpet. Violin. And then you've got a, a synth. You can also adjust the volume in the same way. You can adjust the amount of resistance for your air. So if you're a beginner, you can set this to very light so you don't need a lot of air to make the sound. If you're used to playing woodwind instruments, you can increase the resistance to make it feel more like you're playing a real wind instrument. You can also transpose it. So let's say you only want to play in the key of C, but the music you're playing is in other keys, no problem. And you can also adjust the amount of reverb on the built-in sounds. Over here, you've got the choice to use battery power or the USB cable can also be used for power, which is very convenient, I think. And then you've got a simple on, off, or Bluetooth switch over here. One important thing to mention, it does have this plastic reed attached here, but on this instrument, that doesn't do anything. There's no bite pressure sensitivity. It's only uh, sensing the airflow. So if I play a note, it senses how hard I'm blowing the air and that changes the velocity or the, the volume of the note. But if I bite down or loosen up my jaw on that reed, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't give me vibrato or bending of the notes in any way. That's something that you're gonna get on the more advanced wind controllers. In the companion app, which is actually really well designed and free, you can adjust all of those controls as well as several more advanced ones. You can also change the fingering. It works with trumpet fingerings and you can also program it to have customized fingerings if you want. First, you set this to Bluetooth and then you'd go in the settings and just click connect. It's really easy, it takes seconds and it just connects right away. And then from this menu here, we would click app sound. And now we can choose the sound we want from the app. So let's just pick something crazy. Let's go into the synths. I like the synths. And you can hear now the sound is coming from my iPad. In here, you can adjust the reverb as well as the attack. So if you bring it down here, it, the, it becomes more of a hard attack, more of an articulated, like a tongued attack. And if you bring this up here, it gets more legato, more of like a breath attack. You've also got a decent metronome in here. You could tap a tempo. Then you've got this karaoke feature where any files, any music files you've got on your device, you can load up in here and play along with them. So it'll play the background music at the same time as you're hearing the sounds of your Aerophone Mini. Now this feature here is really cool. This is a library of songs. There's 11 different songs in increasing level of difficulty where you can learn how to play along and read some basic sheet music. So if we just choose something like Amazing Grace, we hit play and now I have to play along with this as a little intro and it'll test and see how, how well you're doing and give you a score at the end. And now it's giving me a score based on my performance. I got a hundred. Now earlier I showed you I was playing this with GarageBand on my iPad. Any app that allows the use of Bluetooth MIDI is gonna work with this. I was pleasantly surprised with this instrument. I've always liked Roland products. They make good stuff, but I think this is something that was needed. A wind synth, a good wind synth that is gonna help people learn to play an instrument. It's really the thing for someone who wants to play but doesn't want to get into the really complex end of things. So kids or adults that just want something casual, fun, that's not a toy. Now for me, this is not a replacement for a real wind instrument, 
but it is a very welcome alternative that provides a lot of functionality that an acoustic instrument cannot. This is a fun device that you could take with you anywhere, learn the basics, and mess around with some fun apps. It sells for $299, and I think that price is a little bit high for what it is. I would like to see this sold for a bit less, but it is very well made, and like I said, it's not a toy. It does work like a real instrument. Check the link in the description below for more info. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you again soon in the next video.